Hi hey everyone, my name is Avinash and um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how we can create uh, this KMS uh, customer managed external keys. Okay, so um, you know, basically this KMS service is designed to create uh, encryption uh, across all the AWS services, right? So we can encrypt the resources like S3 buckets, EBS volumes, EFS storage, right? So, you know, uh, in this KMS service, we have AWS managed keys. So based on the service you're using in AWS, this keys generates, right? Uh, so if you observe uh, whatever the S3 bucket we are creating now, if you want to choose like a, a default master key, so this creates automatically. When no other keys are used, this uh, will be used. All right, so on top of it, we have customer managed keys. So where you can like, you know, ask AWS to create a key and they manage the key for us and you can uh, encrypt the resources. So, but in some cases, like, you know, if you decided to want to use your uh, own key material to encrypt the data, for some reasons, you don't want to go with the AWS encryption logics. You want to use your own encryption methods. So then you have an option to uh, upload your key material to this KMS service. So for that, click on create key. And here is a symmetric uh, option. So basically in symmetric, one key will be used for encryption as well as decryption purpose. And the second one is uh, asymmetric, a dedicated key for uh, encryption, another key for decryption. A public and private key it's a combination of multiple pairs multiple keys so that is asymmetric so actually i'm going to demonstrate this thing with the symmetric key uh, with the s3 actually so s3 supports only symmetric uh, kms key types so i'm going to uh, create a symmetric key now that help us to encrypt and decrypt so if you are simply going here in next step it asks for alias so you can give a name so my kms key so then in next step, what you can do, you can uh, define key administrator permissions, who can administrate this key. And in next step, it will ask for key usage permissions. You just select like, you know, who can use this key, like uh, which user can allow to use this, which roles are allowed to use this, you can define all that. But again, this, when you click on next, it just asking you to finish. So AWS is going to create a key for us right the key material and everything is going to be managed by kms so the key material generated and also managed all you need to do is you need to provide key usage permission to an iam user or roles so then they can decrypt the data okay so this you might use many times but if you're going with this uh, cmk dmks like uh, cmk you know the key logic is provided by aws but what i'm going to do now i'm going to expand these advanced options you see here external so aws recommend us to go with this why because it's their own mechanism like you know they trust their own mechanism a lot right but i want to go with this external i want to import uh, my key material we can create and we can import key material to this kms service I'm selecting this external now and I'm going to select I understand and I'm going with single region key not going to use this across multiple regions then click on next remaining all steps almost same right I'm going to call this as a my KMS key okay so you can give any description tags then click on next again who can administrate this key? Currently, I'm working as an IAM user, that is Avinash underscore T user. I'm going to select the user, like I'm giving key administrative permission to this user. Click on next and key users. I'm also allowing the same user to use this key to decrypt the data, whatever data encrypted with this KMS key, this selected all users can decrypt it. Not only users, we can even allocate roles also. So I'm going to give permission to same user, then click on next and uh, scroll down, click on finish. Once this uh, key creation completes, you just observe here uh, as like, you know, we are going to upload our own key, AWS 
like you know uh, ensured that uploaded key is like you know secured and all it's not tampered whenever we are uploading and all so to secure that aws recommend us to wrap that key whatever key material we have so we have to wrap that key okay so for wrapping that key we need to choose wrapping algorithm here we have rsa 4096 that's recommended and rsa 3072 i'm going with the recommended one rsa 4096 and also wrapping algorithm i'm going with the oaep sha 256 so basically this uh, uh you know oaep uh, like you know it's a optimal asymmetric encryption padding so it's like you know somewhat recommended and um, I'm, I'm selecting it then scroll down you need to download the key material so download wrapping public key and import token so this required whenever like you know after you creating your key you need to while you're uploading you need to use this import token and all just to fool like you know the the key is not tamper proof and all so click on download wrapping public key and import key it's downloaded to my location what i will do i'm going to copy it to a folder here all right so if you read this uh, name okay so this is going to contain like you know uh, import parameter so then after it is going to contain the key name whatever the kms key id we created it contains a key id also and also when it got created the time so like you know here you can see august 11th uh, it, it created right so it's going to contain that information right so these files we required okay whenever um, you are uploading your material okay so that uh, to create that material i have a simple command here so basically this is a command so we are using open ssl to generate a random 32 bit encryption key so the key material format is going to be like you know bit right so um, this command will automatically generate a 32 bit uh, encryption key again um, actually i tried to perform this from my local laptop so then uh, what happened i i faced into a lot of issues because of like you know so the ssl version i have in my uh, laptop so uh, instead of that like what i did i have an ec2 instance right i launched this ec2 instance in aws environment only i'm going to use this ec2 instance to generate the key material and to encrypt the key material okay um again you might get it out hi avinash how you are going to get that key material to your local laptop and all i'll first transfer to an s3 bucket from s3 bucket like you know i'll download to my local and also this encrypted key material currently it's in my local laptop right so i'm going to upload this to my uh, you know s3 bucket from there i'll copy to my ec2 instance this import token not required at moment okay so let me do that now uh, s3 bucket right i can do it now it looks a bit complex this process but you know if you know what exactly this s3 and roles concept it's not going to be all right i have this uh, uh, wrapping key in this uh, s3 bucket now aws s3 space sync or you can use cp command also s3 colon slash slash the bucket name is avinas.kms i'm going to get that file here okay you can observe that here wrapping public key is now copied here this we required right whenever you are wrapping your key material so first yeah the first thing let's go and generate your own key material so this command will generate a random 32 bit one so you just observe if you gave ls i have only one key now i'm going to paste that command click on enter right you can see another key generated that key name i have given as a my custom key material earlier so there is no wrapping concept whatever the key material you have you just like you know browse it that's it 
But like, you know, to make this process pool proof, tamper proof, what AWS did, uh, AWS uh, implemented this wrapping mechanism. All right. So now to wrap this, wrap, to wrap this uh, key, to wrap this cust my custom key material. So I need to follow this command. So I'll explain you what exactly this command will do. So first this command, first this command will like, you know, uh, we, we are using OpenSSL to execute this. And uh, uh, it, this basically P key utilities, public key utilities we are using like, you know, uh, we are going to perform uh, various operations on public keys. So then we are going to uh, tell this command that we are performing some encryption operation. And what is your input key? Okay, so this specific input file OpenSSL will take and it gives output. Okay, so this iPhone out is an output file. So this output file we need to upload to KMS. Okay. Right, so that is one, and also, um, so this uh, in key. So basically, this provides the public key to be used for encryption. So it reads public key from this uh, wrapping public key, and uh, it is going to perform the encryption. So that's the reason this wrapping public key I have copied to this EC2 instance before executing this command, and also. Uh, it is telling like uh, the key format is a DER format here and um, this pub in uh, this lets open SSL know that the provided key is a public key whatever key we are passing and we are converting it's a we're telling that public key and then these three options right so it, it's going to pick like you know uh, the padding method it, it just sets the padding mode to RSA encryption by using OAEP schemes, right? So again, SHA 256, right? Um, uh, then again, it masks the generation function algorithm with SSA 256. In, in simple, if you if you don't know these things, no need to worry. Like you know, in simple, what we are doing, we are giving this custom key material to Open SSL, and we are asking that custom key material to wrap right uh, with this public key and uh, pro uh, asking us uh, asking them to provide the output of this particular uh, encrypted file okay so now let's copy this command and execute it make sure your key name and uh, the the name you are passing here should be same i think i already called it as my custom key material so i need to follow same right so my custom key material dot bin and output is going to be my custom key now encrypted okay this is going to be the one this is same name we already copied this file right so let's copy all this command and paste that here all right then click on enter now if you give ls you can observe this my custom key now encrypted dot bin okay so we are wrapped that like you know our custom key material right we have wrapped that with this wrapping public key so it's an encrypted now so again what what i need to do i need to get this to my local laptop so again if you're trying to use any text editors and create so i don't recommend that it just like you know shows as a random text and all even if you cat this uh my custom key material you can see that so obviously a bit difficult that's the reason i choose that uh, s3 method now aws s3 space cp my custom right uh, need to copy this entire name okay I'll do this. I'll simply use this AWS S3 space sync. This is easy. Whatever the data we have, we are going to get a lot of hidden directories also. That's okay. S3 colon slash slash abinas.kms. Now uh, the material we got it here. 
you see this my custom key now encrypted dot bin file this we required so i'm going to download and i'm going to copy this to my regular location kms location i have copied and i have pasted that here all right now we need this key as well as this import token we required both all right so now go to kms screen click on next and you see here wrapped key material is nothing but the output we got right so then import token so click on wrapped key material choose file and yeah this one my custom key now encrypted click on open and import token click on choose file select the import token so make sure you select the appropriate one if you are giving a wrong one or previously uh, downloaded one it may give some error and also optionally we can set key expiration also so whatever the key material we uploaded now so that is going to be valid for coming uh, two months or 60 days right so after that it is going to expire we need to generate a new one and we need to uh, re-upload it so that's purely optional one then click on upload key material now you can see the kms key created and uh, if you observe this key material you see here it's an external imported key material so later after some days you decided to change the logic so then you can use this delayed key material and you can re-upload it again encryption and all everything it's just same process whatever the s3 bucket you have if you decided to encrypt that you go to properties default encryption server side encryption with kms key then go here select the kms key you created then save changes now whoever have valid permission on that kms key they can decrypt they can upload the data to this bucket all right so that is how exactly like you know you can generate your own key material and you can wrap it and you can upload that uh, key material to kms service to use as a regular key i hope you found this video uh, useful right so thanks for watching this video thanks for your time please subscribe for more videos on uh, amazon web services thank you guys